here you can secure the device. Let's try. Let's try what happens. See what's happening. Secure the device. If you choose secure the device, the device will be locked with its pin pattern or password. Okay, that's not bad. You'll be signed out of your Google account. Now why that? Because I would I would want the Google account to be there to keep it locked. So I guess it's not the same as iPhone. You can add contact info on the home screen or on the phone as it's locked or mark it as lost. And then if you mark it as lost, it's not online, you can get a notification when it's back online. So yeah, I wouldn't want to I don't want to do any of that now, so I'll close everything here just before I press something by mistake. So this is how you find the device. The most useful feature here is if the phone is stolen or lost somewhere outside, you can mark it as lost and you get a notification when it's back online. And also the play sound feature. So you find it because you don't know in which room it is or if it's under a blanket. This I used it a few times and it really works pretty well. Thanks for watching. It's asking me to try Gemini. Gemini. Do I? Should I try Gemini? I'm not sure. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about Find My Device and if you think the Apple one is better. I think the Apple Find My Device is much better. The iCloud lock, that's basically very difficult to remove unless they use the parts. For this one, it seems like the Find My Device will really only wipe the data on the device. Even that, it seems like it's only doing a logout. Thanks. Thanks for watching.